so many of you and Esther included you aren't nice enough to yourselves to want to insist on most of your moments being moments of ease and beauty and joy because somewhere you picked up along your physical trail this thing that you need to pay some price and really when you're calibrating to other humans the more you sweat and the harder you breathe the more you are revered as those are getting out and getting it done you see most people aren't understanding that you're calibrating to the energy that creates worlds and you're masterful in your ability to attract you see this is what it's about all of the answers will come to you all of them the thing that is really a helpful thing to acknowledge is that because of resistance which just means really it means difference it means difference in frequencies because of that when you ask a question the frequency the way the question feels and the way the answer feels are very different feelings let there be a little distance between if you let yourself just feel what you're feeling and ask the question and get it out there you've done the work of the asking and the answer is already all queued up for you and then at a time when you are less resistant you can allow the solution or the answer to come the frequency of the question and the frequency of the answer big difference the frequency of a problem and the frequency of a solution big difference and so if you don't expect the answer in the moment of expressing the problem that's why people feel like their prayers aren't being answered and we say pray prayers of appreciation that puts you right in the receiving mode of everything that you've ever been asking for it almost doesn't matter what you believe here we go again a belief is a thought that you keep thinking when you believe that you can't have something that you want then you can't <laughs> not right now not while the belief is that you can't and so you've got to soothe that belief that frequency that emotion into something that feels better it's not something to see it's something to feel and it doesn't matter what it is you only have to know when it's there and it's there every time you feel anything from the lower half of the emotional scale boredom resistance pessimism even more frustration even more overwhelmment even more disappointment even more doubt all the way down to fear grief depression and so that's how you know so that's your indicator of what's in the way and it doesn't matter what it is you don't have to find out what the culprit is that caused one of those emotions and wrestle it to the ground and kill it you don't have to figure out what it is and then go to therapy and see if you can get rid of it you just have to find a matching thought to something that is optimistic you're just looking for existing matches to the upper half of the scale and that automatically takes you out of focus with whatever it was and it doesn't ever matter if you ever understand what it was because as you soothe yourself then you match different things it's easier than you thought isn't it does that make sense to you humans are so we love you so much <laughs> you want to be so precise you want to be able to explain yourself to everybody and you want to be able to explain well I figured out what was wrong and it was this and this and this and the whole time you're explaining it you're calibrated to it so you're holding yourself in that frequency it's like Jerry used to tell the story to Esther that he sat in front of the fireplaces and the logs in that part of the country were really they spit sparks all the time and when one would get on his sweater if he brushed it off quickly not any problem but if he didn't notice it then it would burn a hole in his sweater and it's the same sort of thing when you've got something that doesn't feel good and you don't do something about it it becomes more because the law of attraction makes whatever is active in your vibration more you see and so once you understand that you've asked and it's been given now just find a match that feels good that feels like something that feels good to you and we know you know the difference then you've accomplished a calibration and then oh we have something to say to you hang on let's go into a new room together let's say that you all are hearing this and getting this and willing to try this and it's new for you because you're really motivated to understand everything and explain everything because 
You live in a society where a lot of people have demanded a lot of justification from you in their comparative nature, in their controlling nature. It's all right. They didn't, in most cases, mean to do it. So you are willing to try this game. It's a priceless, valuable game where you're just going to realize when you're having a negative emotion. And so you get better and better at honoring your own requests. You see, here's the new room that we wanted to walk in with all of you together. So you feel the negative emotion. That's all that matters. You're aware that you're feeling some uneasiness. It's in early subtle stages. It hasn't reached the place that there's some disastrous culmination. You're just feeling some uneasiness and you don't like it. And you like yourself enough to want to grant yourself easiness rather than uneasiness. So rather than trying to figure out what is it that I'm feeling uneasy about, you don't have to do that. You just have to find something that you are easy about. And as you do that, you keep your vibration in this frequency where what you need or what you want is always within easy access to you. That really is the way that it works. Esther used to say to Jerry, you know, she was trying to convince him that he would like to be with her. So she sang, Evita, I'd be surprisingly good for you. She sang, get on the bus, Gus. And one of the things that she said that she thought would really appeal to him is, I shine in a crisis. Well, that's valiant. There should be statues for people that do that, right? <laughs> we explained to her once she started listening to us that the reason she shines in a crisis is because the crisis causes her to focus. And what we're asking you to do is focus pre-crisis. Focus at softer, more subtle. It's easier if you convert those words, frequency, vibrations, energies, even words like resistance into words like happy, sad, nervous, calm. In other words, your emotions are your vibrational indicators. Your emotions are your guidance system and without them you cannot calibrate. So this conversation matters. So do you know the difference between being worried and at ease about something? The nice thing about emotions, words don't really teach. And so we can say a lot of words but the beautiful thing about emotions are that you can feel the difference. In other words, Esther knows when she's calm and she knows when she's agitated, don't you? When you're calm, you're in the allowing mode. When you're agitated, you're not. When you're happy, you're in the allowing mode. When you're mad at somebody, you're not. You are more than this physical apparatus. You're an extension of source energy that is consciousness. Not something that you can hear or see or smell or touch or taste. It's consciousness and it's vibration. And so this non-physical part of you is perceiving in every moment whatever it is you're perceiving. You're walking down the street. Your inner being is aware that you're walking down the street. Your inner being is aware of your body, of your movement, of what's around you, of what the fragrances in the air are, everything in your environment. Your inner being is aware of that. And you have an awareness too. And the blending of those two awarenesses equals your total experience. So the vibrational frequencies are important to understand because you are like a two-headed monster so to speak you have your inner being who has perception and you who have perception and the frequency of your inner being and the frequency of you equals whatever your emotions are so when we talk about calibrating to the frequency of your inner being we mean look around and try to mold modify be deliberate about the way you focus into your environment and see if you can feel yourself into alignment with your inner being and the way you do that because you don't know what decibels are you don't know this is an a440 did you know that it's gone did you know that does that matter to you? Does it matter to you what the frequency was or did you just hear it? In other words, 
Have you ever tuned a guitar or anything? When you hear someone sing, can you tell if it's in tune or out of tune? Jerry and Esther hired a mariachi band to come to their property to just entertain while they were having a big party. And they hired them one year and it was magnificent. It thrilled you, the sound of the horns, it thrilled you. And the following year they hired the same group, the group that came from a high school, but all of the really good musicians had graduated and now <laughs> new musicians had come into the mix. And there was one very eager trumpeter who was not on key at all and so Jerry's walking around with his burritos and his beans and his rice and he comes over to Esther and he says you got to get that horn away from that kid <laughs> because he was not in tune he was not calibrated it was really uncomfortable like negative emotion is uncomfortable it was really uncomfortable and so Esther said to him would you like a burrito and he said <laughs> I think I'm supposed to be playing and, and Esther said my husband is insisting that you come with him and have a burrito and so he went and had a burrito and then everything was so much better because the discordant thing was not in the mix of it you see and so it's like that you can hear when something's out of whack and negative emotion means something's out of whack out of calibration with who you really are and all that you've evolved to to the pure positive being that you are and everything that your life experience in your physical body has brought you to become what is the frequency of love what is the frequency of hate well what difference does it make what the frequency is don't you know the difference what is the frequency of gardenia because it is a frequency that you're translating into the fragrance of gardenia what is the frequency of smooth texture or rough texture what's the frequency of that does it matter rough smooth rough smooth does it matter aligned not aligned allowing not allowing yeah so let's just recap here just a little bit so how was that for you Don't you feel more eager to soothe yourself into alignment with your source? Soothe yourself there. Not prove yourself there. Soothe yourself there. Is it a good feeling to you to know that as you're moving through the details of any day, that your inner being is moving through those same details with you? And that your inner being is never questioning why you're doing what you're doing or judging you or trying to get you to do something different just there just a steady presence of knowing exactly what you want from every moment in time and emitting a vibration that when you tune to it then what you want will be your experience did you hear that so if you're tuning to anything that feels good you're covered anything that feels good puts you in the vibrational proximity of the person walking down the street who gives you the information that you were just wondering about or the sign that you didn't even know that was there that has been there but now that you can see it in other words everything around you your world is about to be just as a result of this little bit of time that we've spent together today transformed into this magical responsive wonderful experience but you gotta know how it works and you gotta love yourself into letting yourself experience it and don't try too hard to explain it to others except through the clarity of your example